When Frida Kahlo was young, she wanted to be a doctor, but a traffic accident as a teenager put an end to all that. The young Mexican was left in severe pain for the rest of her life, but an encounter with the painter Diego Rivera changed her destiny forever, and she turned to art to alleviate her suffering. Frida Kahlo suffered enormously from all the operations on her spinal column that she had to endure after her terrible accident in 1925. And so in her painting, she transcends her pain. She represents her pain in a completely sublimated way. Unable to bear children and frequently confined to her bed, she produced dozens of self-portraits thanks to a system of mirrors set up in her bedroom. In this apparently conventional art, she includes what is important to her, her deepest thoughts, and also something that always comes to the fore in her paintings, which is the love she has for her land, for Mexico for her Mexican roots. Her love of revolutionary Mexico was something she shared with her partner, Diego Rivera, 20 years her senior. Married twice, divorced once, they had a volatile and often open relationship. They always found themselves drawn back together. He was the great epic Mexican painter, whereas she told more of an intimate, autobiographical story. They were linked by their love of color. They're both very great colorists. That means that their painting, and I'm thinking especially of Frida, even when it's about tragic subjects, has something cheerful about it because of that rich, beautiful palette. Paris's Musée de l'Orangerie brings together around 100 works from the two artists on show until the new year united in the gallery as they were in art and in life for 25 turbulent years.